So, good afternoon if you live in Europe. Uh, welcome to the brand new, all new fancy Tonton Squadron stream here on YouTube. And I am delighted to be one of the main streamers here. And we are taking the final game between Ireland and Colombia in Group B. So this is game number seven. Sadly for Colombia, Ireland won their last game. So we're currently 4-2 up in this set. So Ireland are now 2-0 in the XTC. So we... um. It's a bit of a dead rubber, but it's definitely not a dead game, especially when you look at the lists. Alright, that was your mum. How was your mum? So, let us have a little look. Apologies, my front door went off just as the stream begins. So, as you can see, two separatist lists have been bought for the uh, players today. Uh, on your left, repping Team Ireland, is Gary Colton. And Gary's list, I find, uh, quite interesting because uh, the two lists are exactly the damn same. Um, they're both got Django Fett and they both have Zam Vessel. However, Colombia's list is 199 points, and Gary Colton, very specifically, with uh, a lot of advice from the Team Ireland members, went for the lowest bid that we thought was still viable. Uh, Wales actually went one beneath Ireland's 195, but Ireland's list is 195. So we will go through uh, while they are setting up uh, on the screen here. Um, so I've actually got the colors all wrong. There is no colors here on either ship. This is going to be hilarious. So Django is at the bottom. Zam is there. Django, Zam, I would quite like them to actually have colors on their, their things. That would be that would be quite, quite good. Uh, make my commentary a lot, lot, lot easier. But anyway, um, we shall have a wee look. We shall wait until uh, all the dials are set as per the XTC rules. So um, while they are setting all their stuff up, let us go through the two lists. So uh, both Django Fets have Jamming Bing, both Django Fets have Count Dooku, and both Django Fets have Thermal Detonators. And then there's a change. Uh, while uh, Emmanuel Continua, uh, who has uh, went for the full FTCs, that's false transponder codes, lock or get locked, it doesn't actually happen, and a hull upgrade, uh, which is pretty good because that means you need an extra hull damage to half each ship. Gary has went with just one, and he's actually went for a pilot skill of Lone Wolf. So if there are no ships anywhere near him, he gets rerolls and becomes a bit like Boba Fett. And then the two Zams, well, uh, Colombia's is uh, 50 and Ireland's is 49. I'm just keeping a look on the table at the same time. So both have Jamming Beam, both have Pulp, Stroke Sidious, both have Thermal Detonators, both have Hull Upgrade, but to make the difference, uh, false transponder codes are on Zam, so they are two. That's a 100 point ship compared to the Zam on the Irish side, only having 98. So, a massive, massive thing uh, in bid for Gary, uh, a four point bid. So, hopefully, things end up being quite okay on that side of the table. Let's have a little look here. So, Gary has got his thing set. Emmanuel uh, has asked for a translator as I, apparently his English is not that good, which is completely fine. If any of your friends listen to this, our English is just as bad. Um, I do quite like the rock setup. So as predicted uh, with, a, with the bid here, um, Gary has given um, the initiative to Colombia so he can see where Zam goes. Go with that. See where his Django goes. Go after that. And although won't be shooting first, we'll probably be able to arc dodge in the main to try and go. 
So I, they've just asked me to let them know when to start. So if they can go, well, uh, it's after dials, fellas. So, um, so they, they both need to, uh, like in any big tournament in the world in real life, this is a big tournament. It just happens to be online. So uh, once these two dials on the right hand side, and I do love Colombia's map. I have a, had a lovely Colombian flag there as I've had in any of the streams that Tom Tom have been doing this week and previously against Wales. Both dials appear to be set. It looks like they can now go ahead and hit that timer. I will not hit the timer because as a streamer, I am literally nothing more than a, like a spectator with a couple of cameras. But we have spent a little bit of money in the last week to try and increase how this stream actually looks. So I uh, hopefully uh, when we get to terms of engagement, etc., you will see what we have added to the stream. And I hope it makes a lot of difference because I want the stream to be as popular as possible. There we go. Clock on the run. Let us see where we're going to be. So. Why have um, Ireland went for a 195 bid on Zamgo while everybody else has went for 199s? Good question. Hello, Donald. And I'm sure you are devastated that there are not enough HMPs in the scum lists that we have so far seen with all the streamers. There's a very, very good reason for this. Yes, you and I were talking earlier about yeah, net listing is a thing. But when net listing brings you a two ship list that rarely loses, that's probably why a lot of the 38 teams in this year's XTC of 2021 have taken Zamgo. Hello, Nick Harris. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm giving up watching the Euros here. Uh, I don't even know if uh, what the last score was because I've been setting this up for about the last half an hour. So uh, welcome to the 10 of you who are here. Thank you very much for joining us at the Tauntauns. And uh, we shall see how we get on here. So uh, let's move in a wee touch. So right away, there's a four forward from uh, the Colombian Zam and uh, a nice little two hard to the left from Gary, who automatically takes a target lock. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good because he doesn't have FTCs on the Irish side. Uh, so it was a four forward and a boost uh, from Emmanuel before. He's... um. He, he may need to flip that dial over. If he flips the dial over, um, it nine times out of ten helps a lot. So there's his, his little his little colored balls to let us know where everything is. That's that's pretty good. Um, I'll just tell him to flip the dial, and that, there we go. Uh, so a boost each, and uh, there is our Django Fett, who will also. Um, check for a target lock, which is a great thing to do early doors, especially when two fire sprays have went maximum power and then some to try and catch uh, Django. So let's hope that these guys remember all their triggers. So obviously, if you've ever played with Zam, uh, if you play under his crew, you get two charges. If you play her as a pilot, you start with four. Oh, this, this is going to be absolutely crazy. So Team Ireland, whilst we were deciding our uh, lists for the entire event, um, seven droids are super good, though. Yep, yep, it is. Yeah, it is good. And I assume Donald will... Uh, will completely agree that that is uh, an actual thing. Seven droids are, are not fun. Well, they're not fun for the opponent, let's put it that way. Um, so this is a, a very brave choosing violence attack from, from Colombia. Nothing at stake. As I said, Ireland are currently leading this 4-2. Uh, so this is the final game. Um, so regardless um, of who wins, uh, Ireland 
have uh, got their second win of the tournament. So congratulations to them. Colombia have been fantastic opponents the entire game series. So thank you so much to all the players. They've been really good. A uh, shout out to Club de Roy, the streamer from Colombia, an amazingly nice person. Uh, good stream. Uh, likes to spin um, his his table around to try and get really good shots. And I, I enjoyed it quite. Even though I couldn't understand the Spanish as much as I would like to, it was a still it was still a good stream to watch uh, the matches on when he streamed. So kudos to you, sir. Gracias. But uh, you're now with the Tauntauns, so let's see what is going to happen now. So Zam, Ari Sam, top of the screen. Uh, we have uh, color-coded all of our stuff to uh, green backgrounds instead of the red that you will see on other streams, just to kind of make it a bit more... Uh, I mean, like, be fair, if it isn't green, it isn't green. And you can also find out why, because uh, the uh, debris uh, in the middle in green with the Irish logo on it is ours as well. Um, and if you know anything about uh, Irish politics whatsoever, uh, you will see that, that Django was painted in the sort of Northern Irish flag, while uh, Zam at the top is painted in the Republic of Ireland flag. Yet, for absolute giggles, um, the Irish traditional Protestant colour is orange, and that's on the Irish flagged. Sam, it's just a lot of in-jokes that I find absolutely hilarious, and I am utterly delighted that he has picked two ships that I can quite easily, at a glance, go, oh, look, there is Sam uh, coming in. So uh, it was a three bank from the Ari Sam following the uh, straight two from the uh, Colombian Sam. Uh, next, we will see Colombia's Django moving in. Uh, with a three forward, uh, keep they keep losing their their things. Um, oh, so that's that's massive. Uh, a three forward and a boost, so no modification shots here just yet. Um, Django does a three bank to the right, and uh, is sitting just the left hand side of one of those Colombian gas clouds. Uh, We'll be taking two shots and only been able to fire one back, so may possibly boost uh, to try and get out of one of the arcs, or at least make it a range three shot, which is uh, a very good way to do. So on modded, but he still gets a range three shot. So hopefully now you will see how the stream has improved. So let us have a little look. Uh, oh, look, we have dice actually on the board. And that is, well, holy God, I know you can't really see that, but that is three hits have went straight in there. And with absolutely no modifications at all, that is three straight in there. Now, he, there is a lone wolf, so he called an evade uh, with Dooku, but that is still two shields off the Irish Django. So that is... Uh, Make that for a two. Uh, return shot. <laughs> okay, so it's it's Navi's on the reds. Uh, three hits. In return. Uh, back into three green dice for Colombia. Emmanuel rolls. Exactly the same. I will assume he's called an evade on that. And early doors pew pews have already started in round two of this. And two shields have both went off Django Fett in the first engagements. Uh, nothing there from Zam for either player. So it will automatically go back to dials. So that's a very good range three middle blaster. Um, Great rolls on both nappies for uh, either player. Pretty decent. So uh, let's look at chat. Keen Minahan, go ahead, Gary. Uh, welcome, Keen. I uh, hope you're well. Uh, hello, Tom. Couldn't agree more, Nick. What's that England are the best, scariest team in the world? Tom, I agree with that completely. Uh, except your captain seems to not be quite as 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 brilliant as he should be. So uh, hit him a slap because he, he needs to get better. Uh, hello, Juan. Juan is the... Uh, 
Captain of Colombia, uh, guys, you've, your your team has been amazing. Genuinely, they have been fantastic. Uh, I hope you enjoy the last game of the series and good luck in the rest of the competition. Uh, of course, he is saying go Colombia. Connor Holmes, one of the best players in the Irish team. Uh, hello. Uh, was co-commentating uh, with us, but um, at the minute, no, not, which is uh, kind of hard. Um, I'm going to ask them to remove the dice. There we go. So that'll, that'll um, let them know. But I don't really want the dice sat on the screen all the time. That will be uh, kind of uh, annoying. So uh, if you can just remove those, that would be fantastic. Tom, um, listen, he's done, doing a brilliant job for you. As you guys are also 2-0 in, in your uh, group as well. Oh, yeah, it's our group. Yeah, so we're all doing quite well. Uh, hello, Christopher. Hope you're doing well. And... Um, I hope things are going well in your world, wherever that is at the minute. So the uh, dice have been removed. That's uh, good for me. So uh, we are always running a bit behind. It is part of the streamers thing that we run uh, at least a minute behind uh, what you guys are talking. So I'm catching up to your chat about a minute after you've put it up. So that's what the delay is. So where are these uh, beautiful ships going to go? I can't imagine if these dice stay hit, hit, hit uh, all the time. This will probably not be the longest game in the history of the world. Colombia went full out attack in the first one to be able to get one range three shot into, uh, into Django. It took two shields. However, in the end, the boost from the Irish Django of Gary got navvies in the same. Both had to call Dukus to just take two shields each. And this is where we currently are right now. So dials for round three of the movement phase. And I would probably see a continuation um, from uh, Zam uh, from Colombia and a possibility of, uh, I mean, he, he could do something like uh, a two bank to the right and a, 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 a hard from his, his Django at the bottom, which uh, is hugely possible. There could also be uh, runaways and bombs left from uh, the Irish Django uh, to maybe just hold off. And at this moment in time in this game, there are 16 thermal detonators that can be dropped in total. Uh, so... We're now all done. Uh, they have decided that it's now a systems phase. Uh, the ZAM card for Ireland has been set. The Colombian one has now been set too. And uh, because Gary left, uh, uh, has enough of a bid and wants to go second, uh, Emmanuel will move his ZAM first. So let me just uh, make this a little bit straighter. That's much better. So... We shall see where we end up here. So there, as uh, as I thought, uh, probably going to use the two template and does uh, more as a as a deterrent, I think, than actual damage here. Always oh, going for both, just in case there's a, a big three swing by uh, e either of those ships. So uh, that's that's a good firm choice. Uh, totally decided that was a good idea. Um, Sam says, absolutely none of that, thanks. Uh, hard one away. This then allows a hard one from uh, to the right instead of the left for the Irish Sam. And uh, a little one forward. So these thermals will not detonate at anybody. And uh, Emmanuel gives Django a focus. And a hard one to the left from Gary from Ireland. So it's pretty much that they're, they're flip-flopping uh, other people's maneuvers. Uh, so that is the end end of that. They're, they're, we're now into the bomb phase. Uh, nothing. Problem is, has Gary hit his own thermal? Oh, he hasn't. That's very, very lucky indeed. Uh, I, I know Gary plays a lot. Of fire sprays, so I, I wouldn't have assumed that um, if he thought he was in any trouble whatsoever. Nothing from the Irish Django, nothing from because it should be the Irish Django first, as he is first player. Has Zam got a shot on Zam? 
does indeed. So I have the rear, uh, 3v3. Let's uh, have a look here. So three dice from a manual. There will, of course, be the, the exact same range three shot back uh, from Gary. So a uh, bit of, that's okay. It's a, it's a crit and an ang. Spends, um, was it the focus there for... Uh, to turn out the hit. I know, I know she took a focus. I'm just trying to see if that was done. That's uh, not so great. So that's two blanks and an eye. Uh, but we'll spend. Um, we're forced to lose a shield. So that's one shield of Zam from Ireland. So we will click that. Uh, back to the game again. And, and the return. So... Uh, False transponder codes have been popped. So let's see what we get here. Another range three, this time utterly unmodded, but there is a focus there from uh, Zan with her attack. So here comes the three die attack from Ireland. And we'll spend the, f uh, the focus there and, and two K for two hits and a crit. And there is the focus coming into your shots. Um, I'm loving this. This is excellent. So I had two evades. Um, two evades there from um, Colombia. So just uh, a shield. So we have got exactly the same thing on both sides after two engagements. Uh, that Zam triggers. Because... Uh, it was shot at, and uh, I assume both Zams have triggered now. So, possibly a return shot here. Two hits. Uh, Gary has to reroll his. And that is two. Uh, yep, yeah, because he can now spend uh, the other mod to get that back. So, that is now going to be down to uh, two as well. So, a slight lead, not in points, but in damage done uh, to Columbia. So, uh, good round of shooting. That bonus attack, excellent. Let's uh, add that down. So, as you can see on your screen, um, two shields gone from Gary's fire sprays. And I believe that this one now triggers, and we should maybe have a return shot back. Is that doable? All the force is gone. There are no mods gone. Everything is everything is now as it is. I would I would be concerned if we don't have something. So as hmm, he's certainly thinking. I'll give him that much. Okay. End of round, table clear up. Okay, so, so far to date, uh, three shields gone on the Colombian side, four shields into Ireland. So uh, I know Ireland were very happy with drawing up into this when uh, Gary did the uh, pairings. Uh, we're also doing pairings tonight uh, against the team who, the England soccer team are playing in the Euros. That is Croatia. We will be doing that tonight at about eight o'clock. Um, Hopefully that will all go pretty well for everybody. So here we go. We'll just have to wait and see where we're actually at uh, after this round of manoeuvres go. So I love the way people uh, have various ways of uh, playing Zam. Some people just... Uh, pick at the card so that they know what it is and then can pick at it again or you can just eyeball it and you can do both and then put the card beside wherever it's going so we're now in uh, round number four of this two thermals have been dropped by uh Django from Ireland Django from Ireland you know grand fella that he be uh, and none uh, at all from uh, Team Columbia so 
with Zam now facing the wrong way, is probably going to maybe want, um, as there's no such thing as lone wolf in the Colombian thing, um, I would probably see uh, a, a split for both, maybe? Uh, uh, it's difficult to say. With half the ordnance gone on the Irish uh, jangle, he may want to uh, turn it around. But um, at the end of the game, I will I will zoom in and let you guys see the repaint that uh, Gary has done himself on the fire sprays. I think they are excellently painted. Uh, they look really, really good. I specifically like the, the rears of both ships. Uh, the actual hull and engines are fantastic on on them as well uh, so let us see where these players uh, uh, decide to do are we going to play a game of chase me chase me or are we not going to play a game of chase me chase me let's, um, let's see where we're at i think they think i mean i have uh, set up um everything there at the sides just so they can remove all the dice so what you're seeing on your screen, you should not be seeing. Apologies, but uh, that is that is one of the things that uh, we're asking them to do is to change, um, put the put the dice away in the little voids. It kind of makes things look pretty good. So we we shall just see where we're at. So we'll uh, we'll bump in the chat while they are doing their stuff here. Um, Yeah, Paul, I agree with that. Should he have taken that shot? Okay, so yes, he got a shield, as you say, but now 0 4 in the Zam charge stakes. And Ireland Zam should get a target lock. Um, Gary did miss his second Zam trigger, um, I, I would assume. So he has been playing a, a few with just Zam crew, so that may be it. Correct. Um, it it's the recovery isn't a may. It is you have to recover the second charge. Uh, so thank you, Connor, for uh, being our judge. That uh, because that is exactly what it is. Uh, another fabulous fire spray player. Uh, but you're right. You can just miss a trigger, and this is a missed trigger. So apologies, uh, to the team Ireland supporters, but he did miss it. But then in saying that. As Paul says, uh, the Colombian Zam now has absolutely no charges at all. So, uh, was it worth the one shield? You know, it's hard to know. Will it work out at the end? I am absolutely sure that it will. And uh, Juan is now telling them what has all happened. And in the meantime, you are saying that the best thing in the world has happened is that everybody has now chosen violence. Excellent. I am. I this. This is one of my favorite things in the game, where people choose violence. So, um, fire sprays are aggressive. They are really aggressive. The problem with um, Ireland's list is that Lone Wolf will probably not be as effective the way things are right now. But we shall wait and see because Lone Wolf uh, is a great card as long as you're all by yourself. So. Uh, Let's see where we are. It appears to me that everybody has uh, tokened up and we are now in the start of engagement. So let us just wait and we shall see if there's any any change in anything. They have stopped the clock at 53.35. So let me click this. And I assume that the clock is now going again. So it is 53. So I will stop that at 50. Okay. So I'll just keep an eye on the clock here for another minute while these guys uh, sort out their, their thing. So a range one shot uh, from Django into Zam is a hit crit, as you can see. Two die back. Let's see what we get here. Uh, it's not getting the shot, so we're going to call an evade here and get that evade. So we'll just take nothing. We'll actually take nothing, spend both force to uh, ensure that Azam does not take any damage at all. Um, revealed. 
give me my target lock. So now has got a range one shot back when it goes. But at the same time, that is that false transponder gone. So no target lock. And we shall see. I love the way they've put these uh, debris and clouds in the middle all over. So it's uh, going to be a three die attack here from um, the Irish Django Trail Mix. Hit I blank. Uh, the two back. If he gets any one of those squiggles that you see on your screen, and he will be safe. He decides to roll. Oh, okay. So here we go. Yep. And roll them, sir. And they are rolled, and that's the one, and that's safe. So that's all pretty good. So no damage done in the first two rounds of shooting. Now, this should be. So obviously, no shot for Zam. Double crits into Django. What can he roll back? Natties! Absolute nothing. So there we go. Um, how weird. How weird that is. So nothing. R range ones right into the face. Absolutely nothing. And as Connor Holmes is quite honestly, he picked the wrong sound card. And to be fair, he, know, he knows better than that, to be fair. Not a criticism, but I would have had the other one as well. But, um, yeah, from now on, though, uh, these target locks, they can pick up pretty easily here. Should be okay. So, again, no damage done in this round at all. The players are now remembering to put the dice into the voids and uh, i'm going to thank gary for that because that's the one who keeps removing the dice and putting them away so it's not cluttering up your screen you will see that kind of presently so uh let's see where we are uh so good that the uh false transponder codes are now all popped that's really good news for team ireland um they're well worth their points uh, but are they going to be worth their points by the end of 75 minutes well i'm pretty sure that this game will sort out is the 199 bid for zamgo the best build will you give them both false transponder codes and hull upgrade or can you be a little sneaky just put one hull upgrade on uh zam so that you're getting more shots and lone wolf on to django fit we've got around an hour uh, or 50 minutes or so uh, so we look yeah around around 50 minutes uh, on my clock uh, to see where where we're actually at so we're back to dials and uh, choices definitely uh, for both players I would really like to see a uh, Columbia to go in here quite hard with their Zam. Uh, Zam's at the bottom of your screen, as you can see. Um, maybe a hard two. Um, won't get bumped as uh, Columbia Zam, flown by a manual, will go first. Uh, and he's set. Uh, Gary just uh, taking his time to see where these ships will then go. Um, the Irish Zam is in, is in a kind of an, an unusually it's not a great spot for it to be in. Um, even yeah, that's it. It's not. It's definitely not the best uh, position for her to be in. So they're all just checking their dials. Uh, again, uh, I can't stress enough to look at your dials before you uh, click to say that you're ready. As uh, there has been a couple of occasions. That has it has resorted back to the original maneuver that you had in the last turn. So, um, but it's just good to kind of look at that. There's now been a, an update. So if you clear your caches and then reload again, it should not happen. So that is uh, apparently the fix, uh, which is pretty good. But it, there's been a lot of little tweaks that have been done while this event has been going on to sort this out. So um, I think we're both ready now. He's going to check his ZAM card. Everything else is done from a manual, so we're just waiting on that to be right. He's saying which one is his card. That's Grand. 
I do like the, the, the mats. I, I think that's pretty good. A bit of pride in, in your country and it's system phase. So uh, Zam obviously not going to drop uh, any thermals, but the Colombian Django, I, I would assume, will drop two here um, in an attempt to try and get at least one, and indeed does. So we shall have to see where they go. The, the only good thing maybe is that um, Zam from Ireland could do a one hard of white. She is now ready to go. Uh, she drops just one, and I think just one is is okay here. I th I think that's not so bad. Just in case there's a a, a K turn or a, a three away, we shall wait and see. Is there any bomb from? No, we're all good. We're all good. That looks like uh, system phase over. So we should be going to dials and the yellow one for the Colombian Sam. Who has no fear whatsoever and goes straight into where the the thermals are. Absolutely no fear. Now she still has got a focus from the, the last round, as does the Colombian Django. Uh, that will need to get replaced uh, quite quick. Oh, that's that's real close. That's super close here from from. Um, from Gary, that's really close to the board edge, indeed. And and I mean, next turn, depending on what happens this turn, there is going to be an awful lot of bomb. They'll probably drop every bomb uh, on that fire spray uh, perfectly because it he can it cannot go right. He has to do like a a two turn to the left to get away from that and we'll probably go on to bombs from um, the Colombian Zam. So the brilliantly positioned there for the next turn. Django disappears and sadly ends up completely on Zam's one thermal and then takes a focus. Now there shouldn't really be a focus on, um, on Django uh, because the, these These um, focuses were for were from before uh, at the start of the round. So this is interesting, to say the least. We'll see if the players catch. Wait, so that's one gone, and uh, the focus for Django is fine. So we we are we are back to normal, and uh, the Colombian Django will fire out of his rear arc probably into well it doesn't really matter which one both uh both fire sprays on team Ireland said both have lost two shields so we shall wait and see who he has in arc but uh, it will be them to go first as they have the initiative but let's not forget the bombs so let's see where we're where we're at first thermal is in the Django that is in Tazam. So one shield each goes. That's excellent for uh, Colombia. Uh, that's another hit on the Django. Oh, what a brilliant thermal drop this is. So I believe that that one went on to uh, this. So let us see what we're getting. Not too sure what's happening. So there, there's a, it's going to be an eye uh, called there by uh, Django uh, taking full effect of, um, of Dooku. So we're, we're just going to check what we actually have here. So now we're back again for the second thermal. And it is a blank. So safe. So one shield left on each of the Irish fire sprays. 
and uh, no damage taken at all uh, from Colombia. So, average ish, there is still this thermal to go. So, uh, let's see if Django Fett from South America takes a damage. He does indeed with that hit. So, that is Django down to. Oh, that can't be right. Yes, Django is down to one. Django is down to one, and Sam is also down uh, one as well. So let's see what we get. So um, Django at range two. Um, there we go. So uh, apologies, they're rolling right at the side of. Oh, that's better. They're moving it in. It's almost like they can hear me, which they can't. Uh, so here it is uh, from Colombia and Colombia roll three eyes. And with. Uh, no mods because everything else has been. I don't think there will be anything here apart from the used focus for two hits. Okay, so two back for uh, Django in return. Has got um, a focus. He can use the force to call and evade because he won't be getting shot by Sam. Doesn't get it because he rolls natties, so no, nothing done at all. Oh no, uh, a strength, so it will only have been the one. Still gets the one, so uh, one more damage into Django uh, because of the strength. Well spotted there by Emmanuel, so uh, Django has now lost all his shields and is one away from being halved. The problem is there is now two shots coming in to uh, the Colombian Zam. So the first one is at range one with a focus. Um, let's see what we get. That is going to be three hits and a crit. Oh, it has to be surely with the focus. Then it has to be. Um, there we go. Gets there in the end. Spends the focus. Three hits and a crit. The two back are one of eight, one eye. Uh, I assume that they've used Kudoku uh, for something else. So let me just see exactly how much damage is going in to the Colombian ship. Because at the minute, to me, that is two shields and, well, all the shields, really. Let us see where we are. I firmly believe that that is correct, that all the shields are now gone. On Zam, Zam uh, effect will trigger. Still needs uh, two more though um, from Zam to get something. She uh, manages to get a target lock on to um, Django because Django fired. And the only person she can hit here is. Zam on Zam action, and there are websites that probably have the video with a lot of pop ups that you don't really want to watch. But I would suggest just watch this one because it should be actually pretty good. So I'll be three into two, uh, unmodded by anything like focuses or whatever, and that's pretty good. That's about average. That's two hits. We expect at least one evade here, we get at least one evade, and the last shield goes on to the Irish. Zam. So no shields at all on the side of Ireland. No, only one uh, shield on the side of Colombia. Uh, but then Ireland's <laughs> Zam triggers. Look at this cacophony of utter madness. This is this is madness. So um, now I would take the shot into uh, Zam. Um, spend that focus for two hits and a crit. Uh, which is about as good as you're going to get. There's the t return roll. It is hit, crit, into hull, and half points. And let us see what we actually get as a critical. And the critical is panic pilot. So we will put that into the overlay and see where we are. But Zam, now, um, with those two, uh, Ireland now leads uh, 50 points to one. So will he take... Um, another shot. I mean, it's, there, as far as I'm aware, uh, both people have got a Zam charge left each. So, 
with five hole left and a double stress. We could we could just see the, the Colombian one bail out. There is a heck of a roll. Um, so that is hit, hit, crit from the Zam. Uh, revenge shot, spending that. The return, oh, absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. So hit, hit, crit will still be alive regardless of what happens next. But uh, this is going to be... Oh, Let's, let's have a look. So the uh, Panic Pilot goes away. There's the hit. There's the crit. No, it was hit, hit, crit. So that isn't right. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, dear. So there was two damage done. So um, there should be... I'm not entirely sure that this is correct, to be fair. Uh, we've now got what appears to be a blinded pilot. Chat, help out here because I don't think this is quite right. I don't believe that this is quite right. So you help me out with this because uh, I I I, I want to see a fifth damage in here. Uh, there was a hit and a crit into hull, and then a hit, hit, crit. So I believe that that should not be turned over because there's only four damage cards, and there should be five. I am not going to update the overlay until we sort this out, and I assume that the clock has now stopped, and it has. So uh, let me uh, get into mine and try and get it for about 36 as well. So according to the on-screen thing, uh, it is 36 minutes. I'm uh, going to just try and get mine back to the same. And I think they've called uh, captains in to actually see what is going on. Uh, that was a brutal round of shooting from uh, Gary's uh, Zam vessel. Really, really good. Uh, three hits all, all the time there, which has reduced this ship. In my opinion, it should be down to two hull. But they are sorting it out now. So there should be five. And at the minute, there is only four. So that is my clock, the exact same as the in-game clock. They have uh, decided to call captains, which is absolutely fine. Uh, 36 minutes to go. Um, there, there should be, in my opinion, I can't even bring something in here. Um, I, 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 I can't get involved. I assume as the last one got sorted out, we will get this sorted out. Please also remember that uh, Emmanuel speaks very little English and his translator will be translating what Gary is saying in there. But in my opinion, this is an incorrect board state and it should be after the initial hit crit the two hits and a crit the hit and crit went into hull and then there was a hit crit in there so which well let it be i th i think i think we're going to be okay i think we're going to be all right but as far as i know there was a hit crit and then they rolled hit, hit, crit, and an evade. So it should be a hit and a crit, and it should be a panic pilot. I am not altogether too sure what the delay of game now is. So let's let's actually see what we can do here. Time delays. It is like tennis. It, it really is. So all good. Thanks, Juan. Uh, appreciate that. Yep, that's good. Thank you very much indeed. Um, hopefully the uh, the guys get this uh, all sorted. That will be uh, fantastic. It has actually been a very good uh, entire series between Ireland and Colombia. And I can see Colombia doing quite well in the remaining five games. Um, 
as a little bit biased and a member of the Irish XTC team, I am delighted that Ireland are 2 0 and uh, have done what they've needed to do uh, to get to 2 0. Uh, so, this game, although it doesn't mean anything, and it's always good to get a win in any game that you play. So, um, I'm just going to update the uh, overlay here to uh, it being Panic Pilot now instead of. Uh, Just double check. No, it's blinded. So it's blinded pilot. Uh, we will get rid of pilot add uh, blinded. Like so. And I believe with the hull upgrade. So clock back on again, as you might have just heard the beep of the BIOS going. So uh, four hull in there. At this minute in time, just under 36 minutes to go between Ireland and Colombia. In Group C, Game 7 in the XTC, uh, Gary Colton's Zamgo versus Emmanuel Continua's Zamgo. Uh, and at the minute, as you can see, at the top of your screen, the score is Ireland 50, Colombia 0. But it's very, very close. It will only take uh, two damage into Zam. To half the Irish one and only one damage into the Irish Django to half him. Uh, but we're all very, very close. The extra shield and the extra hull on the Colombian uh, Django could end up being really critical. So a lot of time still to go, a lot of flying and shooting and pew pewing still to go. Um, we're all good. I believe we are now all good. And I hope you're enjoying uh, the new stream thing. It's uh, it's quite good. I, I like it a lot. Uh, I hope you're enjoying seeing the dice on screen. But at the same stage, um, I wish... <laughs> I kind of wish there wasn't so much uh, stuff that needed to be explained during the game. So it is it is one of those things. Apologies for the delays in the game. But in a massive event like this, where you are representing your country, let's, let's be fair, this is not... We're not playing on a kitchen table. Well, you might be playing on a kitchen table. You're, you're playing TTS on a laptop or a PC. But you're actually representing your country online. And I think that's pretty cool. So um, kudos to everybody from all 38 countries who are in the event. Um, there are some a lot of the big hitters doing quite well. Uh, a couple of uh, really weird uh, results in week two. Uh and it just about scraped through uh, their, uh, their game there, 4 3, after going a couple of games down. Uh, England doing quite well. Uh, Poland doing quite well. Brazil doing quite well. So, we're, we're, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot going on um, all over that. If you go to the xtc.space, you will get to see up where all the streamers uh, put all their information up so you can get to see as many games as you can. I mean, it, it is the Euros, so technically I'd be watching soccer right now, and I can't because uh, I'm spending way too much time uh, falling in love with the XTC. So if we look at both sides of the board right now, um, Zam has now got three charges, and there's a lot of bombs getting dropped by Zam. Now, this will be her first thermals to go down. Uh, and as we said before, before the, the time delay, that uh, this was exactly going to happen. Make no bones about it. This is happening. Um, so down on the one and the two template, that is going to 100% catch the Irish Zam with both of them. Uh, he has no real means of escape. And I'd love to see where uh, this goes. Valor, absolutely, I, I don't care about anything else, takes a strain, keeps her double stress. She only has a couple of hull left, but if we can get shots from Ireland into that. Uh, so there is uh, the three town, brilliantly done. May have actually got away from the furthest one, uh, from the front of Zam's base. Uh, a one forward here from... Um, Django and uh, takes a target lock. Um, yeah, that is dead, so that can go 
<laughs> that that can just get deleted. Good man. Uh, a target lock uh, in here from Django into other Django. This is actually quite confusing. So there's uh, both uh, sprays have now got um, target locks on Django. Um, which is a, a, tad, a tad weird. Let me just get rid of that. Um, and, a, and a boost to the right. Interesting. Maybe the boost to the left. Yeah, well, it's caught both. Um, so I assume Dooku will be used here to not take a half on the first one. I would assume. So uh, dice get moved away. So let us see where this one is. Is it going to be damage? It is a critical damage. So please ensure that those have been shuffled. They have been shuffled. There is the damage right there. And that is uh, a weapons fail. God, it's a weapons failure. Uh, okay. Uh, that's not the best for a fire spray to only be shooting two out the front. Um, and that is not great. And then here uh, is an eyeball, um, but we are still the second. They're saying that it's, they've caught, caught Django again. So Django, oh my God, it's another critical. The, the thermals from Anna is... Uh, fuel leak? Oh god, this is getting quite bad for Django Fett. Uh, that is a really bad um, crypt to take. That, oh dear. So, uh, when you take damage, it's all going to be crits and that is that is not good. That needs to be repaired as soon as is humanly possible. Um, fuel leak is not, not fun. Uh, Zam, very lucky. Uh Two rolls from two thermals takes nothing. Other side of the, the, the coin is Django has taken two crits, and that's a, a 1 in 64 chance that that actually happens, and the score is now a one-point game. Um, Django, though, does get a rear shot out the back, unmodded. Um, look at those crits. Oh, dear God. So would need three to get three. Can't get three here because of weapons failure. So, oh, this is going to be in, in a turn. In just one turn, the game has turned right on its head. Um, everybody kind of facing away from each other. Um, that's a lot of green dice. So, um, okay, just to let you know what has happened, uh, he is not using um, his rear arc to fire Django Fett because he does not want to take two shots. Um, in the end, everything is absolutely fine as Sam rolls a crit into two evades from uh, Ireland. So, all pretty good right there. There will be no other shots in this round. So, uh, those two crits are not great. And nothing else is in range at all. So with how long have we got? Twenty just under twenty eight minutes to go. Um, the game has literally turned around. So well played, Colombia. Uh, as you can see, when a two ship list, if you half them, uh, it makes all the difference in the world. Um. So really thankful to uh, uh, Juan there to get that all sorted out. Uh, this game, incredibly close. Uh, really sillily close. So um, have we got a definitive idea of which one of these two lists are better? Currently, not yet. Both performing very well. Um, Colombia need uh, two points to lead when, to be honest, the, the least... Uh, he can get would be uh, another 49 each uh, as Django is 97, Zam is 98 uh, but uh, a 
half on Django or another half on Sam is another 50. So essentially, if a good rule of thumb is if you can uh, skirt around and kill in half one, you're going to get around 150 points on average. And, and that is pretty good and probably enough to win you a, a game in the mirror. In the mirror, having the bid and moving last should, in theory, be the best thing to do. But uh, let's see where these ships actually end up. And the fact that they're now half a map away from each other is actually really good for Colombia because then they can probably reset themselves. Uh, if we look at what's happening on one side of the screen, if we take Team Ireland first, um, Django has uh, two bombs left. Zam Vessel has three. If we look at the Colombian side, they have two each, so uh, slight, slightly better for Ireland. But being at the bottom of the screen and nobody chasing Django, that's not great. So I could see a couple of rounds here of repositioning. But if they were to take too long, and by they, I mean Team Colombia taking too long, they will lose by one single solitary point. So guns and positional play and this is where we get to see why these players are picked for the xtc because they know what to do um can you run for this length of time probably not but um there will be more than enough time as connor says that both of those crits are repairable fuel leak will go first there is no doubt about that at all because that is the most critical one and then um, uh, weapons failure will also go, but fuel leak has to go right away. So I would see a, probably a, a hard turn here uh, from Django, probably to uh, the left, and then a one forward to clear off the crits. Zam can probably bank in and see what she needs to do and keep them going. But then in saying that, if the two ships kind of go, then Django is not getting full effect of Lone Wolf. On the other side, I don't think that Blinded Pilot will... Oh, well, I, let's just see where they're at. But I, I, I don't see too much happening that, that's going to be that bad, to be fair. So if I had to, to decide, it's slightly in Ireland's favour, but very slightly in Ireland's favour. Um, you know, they both have Dooku, both have Palp. Uh, is Lone Wolf better overall than a hull upgrade? Well, at the minute, Emmanuel's list hasn't taken half on his Django, and Ireland's has. So this is it. But it's not that long, really, to go. Not really. Uh, as I'm talking to you now, it's uh, 23 minutes and 40 seconds to go, uh, according to the clock. So let us see where we are. Um, Let's see what we can get. So, nice use of coordinate as that has got rid of uh, Fulik. And then with his action, when he moved, both crits have now been eliminated. Now, that is incredibly good. I thought that would have maybe taken two turns, but that coordinate really, really key. Uh, there to be fair um, and the other fire sprays from Colombia head up north towards the side of the board to get things away um, and we are back to dials now there's an absolute train of thought that Ireland should maybe just stay at the bottom make Colombia come to them as they're in the lead make them chase them, or maybe Ireland will go and chase them. Um, I'd probably see a talent here uh, from um, the Colombian Django. Uh, maybe do the same manoeuvre that uh, Ireland Zam did uh, to get into the corner and be all okay. Could even be a 4K from um, Colombia Zam as well from Emmanuel, or they could just she could just bank in there a, a nice one or two to the left um, and get away. But at the bottom of the screen for Team Ireland, as Gary checks his dials, um, no real 
no real hurry to go chase fire sprays that can fire thermal detonators out their backsides. So maybe a two hard in from a Zam and, and a boost and, and let Django go three forward or a three bank up to the left or a one forward. or The options for both players are pretty much limitless. But if there's no more pew pewing, then we're not going to get any more score. And the final score will be what you see at the top, 50 to 49 to Ireland. And I don't think the Colombian player will allow that to happen. So uh, Zam is stressed, so obviously cannot do the 4K. Well spotted. So one stress left, bank blue to the left kind of good have we got our systems phase done have we picked our zam uh triggers looks all good to me somebody can let me know the score in the football today i'd be greatly appreciated i haven't seen any any sport at all really yet <laughs> apart apart from plastic spaceships online i've seen an awful lot of that in the last two weeks so there we go uh, a little blue one And I assume that that uh, goes away, and that is her action, which is pretty uh, standard. I like that a great deal. Let us get rid of Zam's uh, blinded pilot. Uh, nice move there um, from uh, Gary's Zam, and uh, decides, yep, yeah, I could, I could maybe have a go here. Yeah, so boost in to the left. Let's see where the permanently focused Django seems to be. Uh, takes a uh, hard one to the left. And if it's going to focus, it'll focus. And that focus will then be there. So again, focuses. And a hard two to the left from Django. And takes a focus. So. There may be, there may be pews. There may not be pews. I do not believe that the Colombian Zam has got a shot on the Irish Zam. I think it's out of arc. Yep, but the Irish Zam would probably be an arc and gets the long range downtown 3v3 shot into uh, the 1, 2, 3 to go. So... Natties and, and blanks. Sam will explode. Let's see what Gary rolls. And Gary rolls three natural hits. Changes one of the hits to a crit. Uh, there has to be a Dooku uh, return here. And there will be. There was 100% there is going to be an evade. Uh, three dice back because of range. So Dooku will be used for the evade. He needs an extra green to see what happens. Let's have a wee look at where we're at. Yeah, so there is the extra green that comes in. Uh, two evades and a blank would be enough. That is not enough. So can spend a force, turn an eye to that, and another evade. But that's it. So it's one crit that goes into... Uh, Zam and the crit is is that Wounded Pilot? Looks definitely like Wounded Pilot to me because it is. Okay. And we will uh, knock that down. A shield as well. So just two left now into Zam. That's uh, a boot. A, uh, choosing violence are really helping uh, Gary. Um, so only two away for a 100 to 49 scoreline. Um, and we'll probably not go that hard into this at all. I, I do really appreciate uh, all the hard work from the people behind the scenes who are running this event. Damage decks have been created. Uh, 
calendar so you guys can see where the streamers are. Uh, the players have been great. The, everything about this entire tournament, and it's only been going on for two weeks, has been superb, and it's been a delight to bring it to you guys. Where do we go from here? Well, Django and Zam now, Zam can run away. I mean, essentially, Zam can try her best to run away. But that leaves issues if she gets caught at, at long range again. Uh, and it will end up being a dooku off, really. Uh, it'll be a crit into an evade and then three dice each. Uh, so if uh, Gary can get it at range two, then it's a three two with a, a, a crit and an evade each. With uh, just over 15 minutes to go, Ireland probably in the best position here. Um, maybe four turns maximum for, for me with 15 minutes to go. Um, England won 1 0. Right. So that's actually a bit of a shock. I actually thought Croatia would have drawn with them. So uh, thank you, Spud Gun Sniper and uh, Chris Jr. Appreciate that a lot. 1 0. Who scored? I guarantee it's going to be Harry Kane or Sterling because that idiot Southgate thinks Sterling's good for some strange reason. Anyway, back to X Wing, which is the reason we're here. Uh, I'd say a uh, too hard here from Django. Um, and if he throws caution to the wind, a, a one hard here, maybe hide behind that glass cloud to get an extra evade is something that could happen. Uh, for Ireland, um, it's, it's, it's hard. It's really hard to know. A one bank to the left and, and see where Zam goes from Colombia. So we're all done. System phase all done. Uh, dials all done. Uh, that wounded pilot isn't isn't great, but I mean it could have been a lot worse. It could have been a, like a fuel leak or a console fire or a direct hit, and and then you would be down to one, and then then you are in trouble. Um, let's go. We are we are good to go. Um, as I say, please remember that uh, uh, Emmanuel it, it, it does not use English as his first or any language, so there is a translator going on the entire time. Uh, so I, I haven't really seen any sort of slow play kind of things at all, but you know, just to get the things across to let people know where it was, and it was Sterling. Holy God! And Foden had to post in the first half. Sounds like it was all England. Then. Okay. Uh, at, yeah, Connor is agreeing with me. If the crit is fixable, it's probably irrelevant. Direct hit structural damage to only real relevant ones right now with this amount of time to go. Yes, it is. Uh, so a bank uh, one there from uh, Columbia's Sam uh, to the right. Same maneuver from uh, Ireland's Sam and takes a focus. Uh, brings the card up behind him. I do absolutely love that, that little... Um, Monster that's <laughs> on the Zam card. Uh, a hard one there from uh, Django from Colombia, who uh, decides to choose violence because he has to. He has to choose violence, uh, and he is running with Zam. Um, and we need damage into um, Django by at least two, as he has a shield and a hull upgrade as well. So to half Django, it would need to be two in there. There's a boost forward as an action from Gary with his Django fit. Let's see if Django has arc on Zam and does not or does or does not. I did not see that. No no valid targets. So back to dials. There we go. Um, can you run for this long? Well, highly unlikely 12 minutes is a bit long to run for but doable the ships at most can do a four forward plus a plus a boost forward for uh, quite a lot um
So apologies, had to let my uh, much better Canadian other half in the door because she forgot her keys. Uh, lol to that. Uh, chat, where do we reckon we are? You are considerably behind us now um, because of all of this. It's, it's difficult to see how many there will actually be left. Uh, both players playing at a decent pace where I can't complain at all. 11 minutes to go and it is still a one-point game. I mean, this is as close as it gets a one-point game. And it looks like we are ready to go now. So possibly a three forward here could put that about as close to the target lock uh, gas cloud uh, that you can probably get. Um, I do love the alt cards that uh, both players are using. They are fabulous. Um, and, and the debris clouds bought by Gary uh, are filling my heart with glee. They're, they're the right color for Ireland. So let us see. This is going to be, in my opinion, this is a crucial round. Um, there is still a, a level of uh, decision making from Emmanuel on both sides. Uh, we, there's only uh, four hole left on the Django from Team Ireland. So not a lot. Um, that could that could disappear very, very quickly in, say, two rounds of continual shooting. But we shall see. We shall see. Connor says the two would give room for the boost. Yes, it certainly would. Um, no boost with a three, so uh, I would probably say that that is a better maneuver. Uh, but if you need to try and get in as close as possible, if Gary puts this way behind somewhere else, banks away, clears away, runs away, uh, I don't even think the, the Colombian Zam will be fired upon at all. There's my hot take. I don't think Columbia Zam takes another shot in the game. I don't think they can get to her in the time remaining. Players are now sorting out their uh, their stuff. There is a system phase and the second last thermal from Ireland's Zam. to make it the last thermal. No, it's not. She had three. I apologize. She had three, which is why it's the one and the two. Ooh, so uh, a one hard to the, the left. And we'll probably continually just do a one forward and then another one forward. Uh, so I, that Colombian Zam out of the game, essentially out of the game. Um. Though does bank to the left, um, maybe a three bank and, and a boost for the next turn could be kind of impressive. Um, a bank from Gary Colton to the right with his Zam. Zam proudly flying the Irish flag and a great boost to the left to maximize any distance from the incoming Colombian Django who does do the three forward. Um, so I hate to say this, Connor, I was right. I thought he would have to go a little bit more ballsy. The problem being is, does he now put that to the closest, to the most left thermal detonator? Is that something that is now in play here? I mean, thankfully it's not a seismic or he would be taking uh, another damage and would only be one off. That At least these, you have to roll for them. Um, and Shango does a uh, two hard to the left. Um, not getting shot there, I would assume. Um, they can't barrel roll. Um, possibly, I mean, he's got no shot. There could be an incoming shot from Colombia. Um, so maybe just take the focus. So I'm going to think about it. Uh, you've also got to remember that that is uh, much more hurt than. Um... OK. Oh, wow. OK, so um, takes a focus. We're now into 
the bomb face. Uh, as you can see, the dice is rolled and Django takes absolutely nothing from the first. He should... Is he in range? The other one is just slightly out by about a pixel and a half. So those two thermals, again, for Ireland, have done so little. And Django has no uh, valid target at all. All good players will always check to see whether they have got anything in here at all. I loved the uh, the two drop one to get him in. I thought the next one could have been very good, but um, let's see where they actually end up now. So with uh, a devastating amount of time left uh, for Colombia, it's uh, five minutes, five and a half minutes left on the clock. Uh, this game is still immensely winnable for Colombia, immensely winnable for Ireland. But as uh, Zam Vessel, who uh, has kneeled her flag to uh, South America, uh, is not going to be in this game. I, I, I genuinely cannot see, as I said uh, earlier on, unless she swings in with a three or hard twos and boosts, to try and get something in in the last couple of minutes. I'd say we've got two turns left maximum, absolutely maximum from right here um, to see what happens. Um, what I am really want to applaud is that no one is taking um, their time. There's been no stalling. I, I haven't seen any stalling in any of the games um, that I've covered at all in, in any group. I've been very lucky to uh, stream other other groups have done um, quite a few countries so far, and the pace of play mainly has been pretty standard for TTS. So with uh, about five minutes to go, uh, we still need our system. Uh, oh, and, and now Colombia is deciding to change uh, a dial. Now this is actually aiding into their own time, so this one may need to be the actual critical move. Uh, from Emmanuel, and he wants it to be perfectly right. Uh, Gary appears unconcerned. Everything is set on the Colombian side. Gary checks his maneuvers. I believe he is okay too. The Zam has both been checked. Everything seems to be good to go. Systems phase. So, the final bomb from Zam from Ireland puts that thermal down to see where Django goes. Zam does a two hard to the left. I would probably imagine a boost forward to try and see if in any way um, she can get uh, Django. Sam, just a, just a nice little blue to the left, takes a focus, chills out for a bit. A one bank, which will completely evade that thermal detonator. Uh, so, takes a focus. One bank there from Django, uh, takes a focus. Maybe going over that debris at, at, some, at some point. Um, and at the minute, that is not a good position for Django Fett to be in. So four damage will kill him and has boosted forward and I believe has probably got out of arc of everybody. Uh, thermal detonator explodes with that amazing noise uh, from uh, the Phantom Menace. Wrong one. It's the next one. Anyway, let's get back to the game. Range three from Colombia. Django on Django. Three things here. Called a crit with Dooku. Will spend his focus. Now, one of these is through a gas cloud. So, let us see how this works out for Ireland. Oh, Lordy. 
has called a uh, an evade and that so there is one coming through this is the lone wolf reroll gets the evade and from one evades and three eyes it is now three evades and an eye and takes absolutely no damage uh, kudos to that that is fantastic and i would say that now with the timer showing on your screen of just a minute to go no death on django and it's a win for ireland the problem is you would need to do two damage onto zam to win so will Colombia go hell for leather? There is 25 seconds on the actual TTS clock. This will be the last round. Django has done enough to stay alive. And unless is they just go, he is closer, go there. Chaps, where, if you were a manual, where do you go? Where, where do Colombia go to get the points? It is only two to kill half points on Zam. There is essentially the final whistle. But like in rugby, it doesn't actually finish right now. The hooter has gone. But they're in. They've set dials. This is going to be the last round. One point separates Ireland from Colombia. This has been the closest game I've commentated on in the XTC. And I'm hoping you're enjoying it as much as I am bringing it to you. So everything to go. Decisions to be made. Choices that will affect a nation. So sit down. If you've got a cold drink, I have a cold drink. I'm going to have my cold drink. And we are going to sit down and let these two players play their final round in peace and see... Which choice Emmanuel Continua decides to do? Will he chase Zam and try and get two damage? Or will he try and kill off Django? Either of which will get the win for Colombia. Oh, this is exciting. I'm actually I'm actually on the edge of my casting chair. I'm right at the edge. Great, great questions. Great questions. Zam into Django and Django into Zam, says Juan. Uh, that is the captain of Colombia. Uh, so absolutely take that on board, as that may be something that does happen. Nick Harris says, run, Forrest, run. And I sort of agree. Running would be absolutely a splendid idea. Uh, Graham, do you run for the corner or turn in hard to try and catch Zam? That is the question we're about to get an answer to. Connor says, Zam through a cloud could die. That's the Colombian. Colombian Django chases Zam. If Zam gets this right, should be next nigh to impossible to land the two damage needed for the half. Uh, Salandra, uh, who's Jenny, uh, she has been a regional champion in X Wing. Um, she's from Northern Ireland. Uh, corners for both I like. Does Ireland have any bombs left? I believe there may be one bomb left. In fact, Django actually has two thermal detonators left um so gary has something he can drop behind him to maybe stop anything like that happening uh gary heads towards the board edge surely i would probably say that zam needs to get threatened connor i agree uh and a one hard says richard polly also from team ireland who won his game very well indeed and reinforce the rear to try and not take the shots. That is where we're at. The dials are still not set on Colombia. Things are, we will get there. Apologies for the dice being on the damn screen. But this is, this is close. This is the final turn. This can be won by either side. They need to make sure that they're doing this right. Will Juan's idea be right will zam go into django 
and Django into Zam from Emmanuel. If that is what is happening, we got a game. If they both go after Zam, we've got a game. If they both go after Django, we still got a game. But here we go. So I am not going to turn the dice cam off. Not just yet. Sorry, Nick. They just are not doing what I asked them to do. But do you know what I can do? I, I can do this. And now I'll move him. And I know that does not look very professional. But at the same stage, that will make this look a lot better. So, dice gone. Let's see where we go. Zam has decided to exit the building. So, this is it. There is... There's one shot that's going to decide this. So I'll boost away from, from the Irish Django. Uh, we have got one shot. And we don't even have that shot. Wow. So. Uh, the final score. In the final game of Group C. Between Ireland and Colombia. Is a 50-49 to 49 win. For Gary Colton's Zamgo. Over... Emmanuel continuous Samgo. Interesting choice of lists. Um, is it conclusive that the, the bid is better? Well, probably yes, to be honest. So congratulations to both players. Thank you, Columbia, for being amazing opponents, being really nice to chat to on Discord and sort out the streams and stuff like that. I, I really do appreciate all of your help. Good luck in the rest of the tournament. Ireland are through with a win, five games to two, to move to 2-0 in the tournament. So, guys, thank you very much indeed. If you haven't already, please subscribe to all the YouTube streamers. If you haven't um, followed uh, your Twitch streamers, give them a follow. Builds it up. I started this YouTube station just to start running the XTC and I already have a named channel. So thank you to the over 120 people who are now following this channel. That is why we spent the money to try and make it a lot better. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Well done, Gary. Commiserations, uh, Emmanuel and Juan and the whole of Colombian team. Uh, good luck. GG. And we will see you for hopefully... Ireland versus Croatia all next week. My name is Seth Holocron from the Tauntaun Squadron YouTube channel. Take it easy and good night.